to get ready with the harness tester, remove this cover. The cover is not really manually. And come here, there is a switch, and switch it on. And move the screen. You see the screen on there. Move the screen over here. Yeah, there's an interesting design, it's a little bit higher than the monitor. So now everything is ready. You can start the software here to start the harness tester. Start. Okay. So this is the harness tester training. So we start a software called the diamet. Double click on that. And when the software is booting, it will build a communication with the, the harness tester and this screen will show the remote mode and that means the communication is established. If this tab is still on, uh, we need to close the software and restart it again. To mount the spectrum with uh, this new feature. So put the interesting area facing down. So there's a hole, the drop down in the center. Okay. And this is the slot, put the screw a little bit shorter and slide it into the, this slot, okay? After slide into the slot, you, you, you turn it until it's a, you don't need to get really tight, just a, basically just touch that and you don't need any anything tighten on that, okay. Now you can see this is an interesting area for the testing. Always lower lower down it, okay. Since uh, we were testing high material and this is lower down, it's fine. When you move in, find the green spot, okay, the green light spot. Focus on the specimen and use low magnification to find the interesting area and move to a high magnification. And here, when we lock in, we choose uh, the method. Start the software. And when we start booting, this is go to the remote mode. We are among the specimen. Uh, so right now we use admin login. In the future, we probably put a different people's name. Now we do the tooth remineralization test. We are at T09. If you can put a new job with new sample name and plus, use plus sign and that. So this one we will we click. Okay, so it should be ready to start. Always start with a low, lower magnification. So like this one, start with like a 5x or 10x. So you can place the locations like this one you can place the pattern okay place pattern like that pattern doesn't mean anything so far because this is not automatic stage so it's we do the you can see this one two three one two three four five six but doesn't matter whichever you you do you can do whatever you you like You can adjust the illumination. So this will we will should be ready to do the first indent. Okay. So this will be the first indent. And you can well, we can even put the comments on that, which is very good. You can ready to test. Okay. You press start. It will start at the first indent. So now we finish. We're supposed to see the first thing that. Where is that? It's here. You can see the indent. Okay. And then over here, you can redo the focusing a little bit. And uh, you can see, yeah. adjust the focusing. So there is stop. Okay, make sure you adjust the focusing. You can automation, make sure, sure. You can see, it's, uh, you can do the auto measurement. Thing is you done you make sure you see the cross <laughs> you click and this is indented okay and then look like it doesn't give the proper measurements you move cross you can hold on the edge so the center part can move to the right place 
and you can use the arrow to adjust the, the position mid left right and click on that okay shift in here and you can click and you can harness metal over here and then this will be the next step remember this is a manual one so you need to move to the next one over here make sure the spacing be between one indented to the other should be 2.5 distance okay otherwise we have an interference you find the location somewhere here okay try to find something relatively flat okay and uh, not the sample for next Oops. 